Groundwork now set in the Richmond Hill explosion trial. Jurors got a sense of what the next six weeks will include. Today, they heard from firefighters and they also heard the chilling 911 calls. Call 6 investigates Rafael Sanchez is live in Fort Wayne Force. Uh, Todd, good evening. Day one is done. Day two begins tomorrow at 845. In opening statements, the prosecution said the explosion in Richmond Hill of 2012 was no accident, while the defense told jurors that their emotions cannot enter into the final verdicts. That will be tough to do. Bob Leonard Jr. will see on the stand many of the same people who testified against his brother Mark. More than three years since the deadly explosion and six months since the last trial, the prosecution will count on their stories to get another conviction. And clearly, uh, to the extent that individuals in any case are asked um, uh, more than once about their recollection, what they observed, uh, it, it's possible that uh, as they recall things, there are, there are some inconsistencies. But I certainly would anticipate uh, in this case um, that that would not be a significant problem. The prosecution is fully aware that what happens in Fort Wayne may impact the future of two other men connected to this crime. Glenn Hultz and Gary Thompson are also facing criminal charges for their alleged involvement to benefit from a $300,000 insurance policy. Well, it's always uh, possible that cases can be resolved by uh, pleas uh, if defendants are willing to step forward and accept responsibility. And so you know, we'll begin those discussions with counsel for the remaining two defendants when we resolve this case. Back live here inside the Allen County Courthouse tomorrow, we'll hear from more homeowners of Richmond Hill. Now, all new at 7 o'clock, does Bob Leonard's defense team have an advantage over the prosecution since they saw some of the prosecution strategy in the first trial in South Bend? We'll have much more on that developing story coming up on the news at 7. Live in Fort Wayne, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. Rafael, we'll look for that. Uh, our senior digital producer, Jordan Fisher, is in the courtroom with Rafael while Bob Leonard stands trial. He'll be posting live blog updates inside the RTV6 app where you can follow the proceedings as they unfold. All new at 6.